Book 6, Book of Morals and Precepts, Chapter 4, Life. I found this chapter very instructive. NPR 416. Would the fish rise to the bait if it knew the hook were hidden therein? Or would the lion step on the pit if it saw the stake below? No, neither would man wish to live or the soul to perish with the body. Neither would a just God have created him. And the true God, if he be anything, is just. NPR 417 Life is yours. That you requested it not is of small consideration. For the choice was not with you. Therefore, accept with good grace that which has been alluded to you, deriving from it whatever benefits it may bestow. NPR 418 The benefits are great, and were they readily apparent, life would be accepted with due gratitude and endured whatever its afflictions, with resigned anticipation, life. If so lived, it would be futile and its purpose confounded. And therefore, only by dire efforts can man come to know the everlastingness of his soul. The law decrees that man shall never be assured of his immortality. NPR 442 Fools fear as men and hope as gods. Bounded by mortal restrictions, they desire the achievements of immortality. But everlasting life is the reward of those who live good earthly lives without the inducement of immortality. Therefore, the prize is never revealed, and life maintains man in a state of doubt and perplexity. Hope he may have, but never assurance. Those that drive society are also the ones that hold the idea of life after death in disgust. They seem to suffer a disability that allows them only to believe in what the body can experience. They cannot see the value in denying it self any of the pleasures of the flesh because it does not really believe in the soul surviving death. While the other side fails to value that God did not just put us on earth to focus only on the afterlife. In fear of death, they would infringe on other rights to avoid doubt. They could be wrong. In fear, they want certainty that one path exists, and all you must do is follow that path. You are granted eternity. If we knew for sure what God wanted, then even those that saw no value in it would follow, but not because it is right, just because there is a reward waiting that they want. They will not think and demand all follow so that society will not create doubt in the individual that God's purpose is beyond our understanding. 